Hello, and welcome to a quick tutorial with your favorite AI note-taking app, MeetGeek. In order to have the MeetGeek bot record, transcribe, and summarize your calls, first the bot has to join your calls. And so this tutorial is going to show you all the different ways that you can have the MeetGeek bot join your calls. This is the upcoming meetings page on your dashboard. Uh, you can access it from here. And the first thing that you can do is to have MeetGeek join any of your calls is click this toggle here, and the bot will join your call. Um, now, going through each of the every one of these calls individually may be a little bit difficult. Um, so what we can do is we can actually set it up so that the MeetGeek bot can join each and every call um, automatically. Uh, so the way that you can do that is over here, you can have it either join all of your calls, so just the ones, not just the ones that you've hosted, but any call that you're a part of, um, or just the events that you've hosted, for example. And you can also set it up to only join events of certain meeting types. So uh, you can have it only join your Google Meet meetings. You can have it join your Zoom meetings but not your Microsoft Teams meetings. And now automatically the Microsoft Teams meetings, which may be internal meetings that you don't want to record, um, are not going to be recorded. Uh, additionally, if you have a meeting with a client kind of at the last minute, let's say, um, and it's not on this upcoming calendar, you can grab any invite link and paste it here and hit join. And the Meet Geek bot will join that call uh, within the next few seconds uh, to be able to come in and record your call. And then let's say there's like a recurring call that you have with a client and you want the MeetGeek bot to be at every single one of those calls. What you can do is actually invite meetbot at meetgeek.ai to that calendar event. Um, and then it will be at every single recurring calendar event and you won't have to worry about setting up your toggles and those kinds of things for these events. So that was a quick tutorial on having MeetGeek join your calls. Uh, and I hope it was helpful for you.